The Body Shop connects you with the hottest fitness models in the world. Learn the backstage secrets that most successful bikini divas, fitness models, and bodybuilders use to dominate their competition and land on the covers of magazines. Only here at The Body Shop will we allow you to listen and talk to the best of the best in fitness competition. If you're passionate about bodybuilding and fitness, you have found your new home. All of us here at FTNS Radio would like to welcome you to The Body Shop. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome your host, Andre Brick St. Clair. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for allowing the Body Shop and FTNS Radio into your airwaves and into your homes. I am your host, Andre Brick St. Clair. And in the studio, I brought my boy back with me. Now, when I say this, please understand it's not a joke. It's not a joke. We actually did fly in here, okay? I'm talking about pilot extraordinaire, Mr. Sailor Corps himself, Mr. Dan Lorenzo. Thank you for having me back. Oh, man. man. Listen, great time. Plane, park the plane right in the parking lot, right next, right next to the A5 out there. Hey, that's what we do. That's what we do, you know? Yeah, we're still working on the logo. <laughs> on the cockpit, though. FTNS, around the tail. There you Boom. go, there you go, there you go, right there with the call numbers, with the not call yet. numbers. Hey, give it a year, right? A couple years? Get the G5, FTNS? Of yeah, course. On, right? Why not? Go. Why not? You there know? we go. You know, cater it down there with the fruit, you know, some brownies for when you're not competing. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be up front with the door closed. I don't want to talk to you about it. You got whatever goes on in the back. You guys eating, drinking, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, man. Uh, this there's a bottle amazing. of water. <laughs> okay, so now, officially, you're approximately one week away from competing in your first show. One week. Okay, and you're on a carb depletion right now. Yep. You know what? I just got off the phone with a good friend of mine, Miss Lorianne Marchese, and uh, she was telling me how badly she wants some fruit, and she's all mad at me. And, yeah, I'm and, with her. You know. I'm with her. <laughs> Wait a minute. What you mad at me for? No, no. I'm, I'm mad at you because you're talking about food. I, Why not? I, I walked in the studio. What were you talking about? Brownies. Yes. Brownies. Yes. And not even – you started talking about healthy brownies, and you ended it with, uh, like, peanut butter-covered, cashew-covered brownies. That's where yes. you ended it. Yes. So I don't – Yes. Myself, Brian Cano, uh, Super Producer, you? I told you, Unless the ingredients are tilapia and asparagus, and you made that taste like a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you close your eyes, yeah. like Peter Pan. That's what I say. I tell people that all the time. I tell people that all the time. It's like, hook. It's like those kids, I'm sitting there with a, with a rice cake. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh my God, this almost tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. If you close your eyes really hard, it does. You smell it. Well, you can close your eyes. You can imagine it. But at the end of the day, me and Super Producer Armal, we tore that brownie down. That's right. There he goes right there in the background, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, Dan, what's new? Man. What's new with Cellular Corp, man? Well, Cellular Corp, I mean, look, it's, it's been great. Man. Things are things are blowing up where, you know, uh, it's amazing to go into stores or you just go meet people. And even going to the gym, you start to see T-shirts everywhere, the towels everywhere. Going to the stores, people can't keep it on the shelf. So right. it's it's been it's been good. Good okay. stuff. How'd you how'd you like the C four? Yeah, nah, so I gave nah. you some last time I was here I gave you some C four. So you, you C4. told me to get back to me. So that's right. Got? That's right. And I and I was actually waiting for you to come back onto the body shop. Yep. Because I wanted to be upfront and I wanted to be honest because you know, my fans, they trust my word. So I held on to the C four. I have Jack three D at home. Oh boy. And I was here given some some one MR. That's the hey, that's the trifecta right there. There it is. So I was like, okay. Which one of these pre-workout intensifiers is really, really going to give me what I'm looking for? Okay, because, you know, in all honesty, they're all pretty much, you know, like, they're all geared to do pretty they're much the same thing. They're trying to do the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So, you know, I went with the one MR. Nice. I, I, I will say very, very strong. Very you know, almost like instantaneously, probably within 15 minutes, yep. felt the difference. Um, I went over to the barbell. I put 315 on there, you know, and just started doing bent over rows. And uh, normally, if if I'm not doing any pre-workout stuff, I can probably get 10. Mm-hmm. One MR, wind up getting 13. Liquid courage. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Jack 3D kept me right about 11 or so. You know, it was okay. Waited. Hit that C4. Mm-hmm. Can't lie, man. I got 15. There we go. I got 15. There we go. I got 15. So I'm going to need some more. 
All right. Okay. Absolutely. For, for free. Some. We brought. We brought. We brought. <laughs> some. Don't worry. We'll keep. We'll keep a good. Keep a good thing coming. Okay. So. Okay. But now, with the C four. Yep. Okay. Um, I tend to work out at nights. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, some people work out during the daytime. Okay. You get on the on the labels. It says you know take one or two. Three scoops max, according to your tolerance, sure. you know. Um, but now, what happens if, you know what, I don't, I want more. Yeah, abso- absolutely. Um, I mean, look, the, the most, you know, C4 is a two-scoop product. So okay. so the most we say to, you know, say to do is just take take the two scoops. Um, you know, I'll be honest, I, during the beta testing phase, I, I'm, I was the guy to, to go over that. And we, what we wanted to do and what, what we kind of look for at the energy levels for C4 is one scoop, you feel great. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two, sco- two scoops is, oh, my gosh, it's a ton of energy. And three scoops, it's, oh, my God, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> so so that, that's kind of what we were shooting for. Right. So, so two scoops is the max there. Okay. Okay. Now, you actually have a new product that's coming out. Yep. We, uh, we, we revamped our M5, just like our whole line so far. You right. know, we talked a lot about last time, the whole G3, the Chrome series line. No, it's not a new line, but it's just updates to kind of the products that people have known and loved even for, for years now. Right. Now, the new M5 uh, is going to address a you know, kind of a huge problem in, in the industry right now, or just a, kind of a hole, if you will. You know, like you said, C4 says take one, two scoops depending on tolerance. Okay, tolerance of what? Right, it's not creatine tolerance. No, it's not RG, definitely it's not. not that. No, no, it's no. stimulant tolerance. That's right. Um, so you know, it's like okay, well, you know, what what do you do if you're really sensitive to stims and you don't want the caffeine, right? right. Or or maybe you're just working out late, or you're working out after class or at work or whatever. You know, what do you do? Um, you can take just one scoop of a product, be it C4, or be anything out there, you know. And mm-hmm. if you take one scoop of it just to lower the stims, is it fair to say you get less results, less of the good stuff? Of course. So if you get one scoop, you're getting less creatine, less arginine, all that, you know, less of all, everything. Right. So what we're doing with the new M5 is we, we've created the world's first customizable pre-workout. Customizable. Customizable pre-workout. Okay. So we're, we're debuting a split canister where in the bottom half of the canister, you're going to have all the mass builders, all the good stuff. Okay. okay. So um, the blend, creatine nitrate again. Mm-hmm. It's a cr- brand new tiny, kind of creatine, 1,000% more water-soluble, more absorbable. Um, than a creatine monohydrate than creatine, according to UCLA. Wow. Okay. We're using creatine magna power, creatine magnesium Kelly. Again, a zero water weight, zero bloat, zero stomach det- uh, descension creatine, arginine, beta alanine, uh, and their citrulline, ornithine, oxyvanadium, betaine, grapeseed, all these great mass builders, okay, to really help you get the size. 100% stimulant free. That's all going in the base of the canister. Yep. And, and the top of the canister is going to be an energy and focus blend. Basically, the same that's powering C4. Right. Um, and so what this is going to allow you to do is each and every workout, you mm-hmm. take your bottom, you know, take a full scoop of the bottom half of those mass builders, and you're going to get all your good stuff. Go ahead. Go hit the weights right there. Right. No stims. You're good. You're all set. No stims. Okay. Or if you want, if you want to go bonkers, you want to bend that bar. Let's say we're going to go for 16 reps this time. Okay. Take take two scoops of the stims, whatever you want, or take a half scoop, take one scoop, whatever. So each and every workout your stimulant level is totally customizable to whatever your personal needs, personal wants, whatever you're doing. So for people, you know, who just don't want the stims at working out late, you know, um, heart condition, any of that, right. this is your perfect pre-workout. And let's face it, man, life's crazy. Okay, life's crazy. So some people, you know, you, you get in the gym one day and it's 9 a.m., 8 a.m., yeah. 7, 6, 5 a.m., whatever it is. Right. You need those two scoops of stims, man. <laughs> right? And then you know what? Maybe the next day you're working out 10 p.m. after, what you know? So, and then you don't want it. Absolutely. So this, this is your tool. This is so M5 Extreme is going to be on shelves, GNC, probably 30 days, 45 days max. You know, it's coming soon. So look out for that M5 Extreme from Cellucor. There you go. Customizable you go. pre-workout. Customizable pre-workout. There we go. You heard so, it here first. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first from Mr. Cellucor man himself, Dan LaRune. So now I'll... I know I messed your name up. I apologize, but you know what? I still got a little jet lag, so you know, just gotta right. bear with me. You know, it's because it's it's yeah, it's sugar rush from all the <laughs> all the brownies. Oh man, you missed it. I don't want to talk about. Oh this. man, we had some amazing brownies. You know, we had uh, <sighs> Vince Del Monte was on the show. Yep. You know, Tony Korea was on the show, and um, man, they brought some you know some healthy stuff. You know. All natural brownies, whey protein ingredients, which was great, which was great, mind you. But see, I'm a power lifter. Yep. I'm a strong man by heart, you know, competed in bodybuilding. I'm a little done with that. I wanted 
the brownies. Yeah, I know. With the peanut butter. I know. Brownies with the sugar. You know what I'm talking about? The brownies well, with the, you know, with the crushed nuts on top. If you're hungry right now, yeah, I got a six pack bag in the other room. I think there's like, you know, I think there's one meal left in there: eight ounces tilapia, ten spears of asparagus. It's all yours. If you want it? What am I gonna do with that? I don't. You know, <laughs> throw, 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 throw it out. <laughs> okay, it's you all, know what? It's all, if you want it, if you want it, it's all right. I think I got another. I got another hour and a half. I'm supposed to eat anyway, so I'll track something down. I tell you what, I'll make sure you know I me mean, that you get over to your last meal. Yeah. But um, let's talk about your diet now, okay? Because right. obviously, um, as you're getting ready for your first competition, sure. Um, I'm sure Gina. Hey Gina, how you doing? I didn't forget about you. Gina Trachiano. There you go, show. Gina Trachiano. My coach. There you go. Now, uh. As you're getting ready for your first competition, okay, and dieting is fairly new to you as mm -hmm. far as competition-wise. Absolutely. Okay. What changes has Gina made um, as you progressed week by week? Because the last time you was on the show, I'm just going to guess, I believe you was about, what, 218? Yeah, about, yeah, 217. Okay, 217. And that was or, roughly a month ago. Okay, and right now you look at about 197 yeah, or so. Yeah, 197, okay. There you go. See, so. I still got the eye for this, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, no, man. no, you're good. Uh, no, so it's actually funny because last time I, I was in here, I think what we even said to you, I was like, yeah, I still have Sunday fun day right, right now, right? Yeah. And so I told you, I think after my workout the morning, I had a little bit of a cinnamon toast crunch kind of thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, look, that's those days are long in the rearview mirror. Long those, gone? Those are long gone. So, you know, um, after that, you know, you start kind of tapering out the carbs, and then it became kind of just the complex carbs, you know, after only after workouts kind of right. thing. But um, for the last two weeks, I'm really working on my conditioning. So, you know, still hitting the gym, still lifting, but most importantly is the cardio that I'm getting in. So mm. um, the cardio uh, is honestly up to two hours a day. So an hour in the morning, Oof. and then I'm doing about an hour after I lift or so. Oh, um, I don't miss those days. And, you know, for the last 10 days or so, just really to get, you know, the conditioning where it needs to be, mm -hmm. it's pretty much just been straightforward, just tilapia and asparagus, you know. Um, it, after certain muscle groups, I'm going with a little higher fat, something like salmon, just to help, you know, um, keep the skin thin and also preserve a little bit of muscle. But, man, that's it. That's it. So That's it? That's pretty much been it. Yep. Okay. Now, earlier... When when I first introduced the show, I mentioned that a good friend of mine, Lorianne, mm -hmm. is mad at me for no reason. That's because she has to cut out fruit. Yep. Okay. Well, I was asking her. I was like, well, you know, you should still be full. I mean, you know, are you drinking a gallon of water? I ain't drinking that. I don't even know how you drink that. Yeah. <laughs> how much water are you drinking? Uh, right now, uh, about two gallons a day. And it's going up to two and a half later this week before I kind of cut it out for the show on a... Which will be next Saturday. Which so, will be next Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it's, I, you know, kind of just keeping, like I said, keeping the skin thin, you know, um, keeping the veins, you know, where they need to be and just right. you know, making sure that, you know, honestly, drinking that much water, you know, flushes everything, mm -hmm. you know, kind of keeps you going and you'll you actually lose a lot of weight that way, you know, and honestly, as far as the gallon a day thing for, for Miss Lorianne, I mean, that's what everyone's supposed to be doing. Eight, <laughs> eight, eight, eight glasses a day, eight glasses a day equals a gallon. And that's just for everybody out You're there. You're taking so. cheap shots. You're taking cheap shots. Now, see, now she's on the way down to the studio she's my you know, she's my neighbor you know, I'm, from, I'm, from, I'm from west hartford i think right. she's from bristol she's from bristol, bristol i area, believe so, yeah 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 so i gotta be careful she knows where i live <laughs> i see you on her facebook all the time out in west hartford center i'm like oh my gosh it's right down the street all right all right all right now so we got the tilapia yep we got the broccoli or asparagus mm -hmm. we got two gallons of water oh boy okay yep it, now, in all honesty, because you know what? I got a lot of first-time listeners here on the show. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, all these people come on here. They talk about this. They talk about that. Let's talk about the personal life. And yeah. I don't want to get too personal, but what is that like for, you know, the person that you're with when you're dieting for a competition and they're not? Look, it's funny. I got into this discussion with Gina a little bit. You know, like, do you, you know, do you date a, do you date another competitor? Do you date someone not in the industry at all? What do you, like, what do you do? And honestly, I think it takes, you know, a, a special kind of person. Because, mm. look, it is, it is a lot when, you know, you guys can't, you know, sit down and share a bottle of wine on, <laughs> on the weekend. Or, you know. No or, wine? Or, or, you know, any, I mean, anything, you know. <sighs> and, no, just, you know, you're not having dessert. You're not, you, you know, you mean even, you know. At first, it's all right. You know, it's like, okay, well, you know, maybe I'm not having rice and they're having rice or maybe I'm going uh -huh. to order this. Or, 
But you know, it it takes a, it takes a special kind of person, especially the, the last few days, especially this last week, just getting ready. Right, been, been a little crazy. Right. Um, I, I'm a little bit ashamed to say, but I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm always honest with you. But I had my my first spray tan a couple of days ago. Uh oh. The doing doing the spots. That's just to make sure the stage color is gonna mm. look gonna look pretty good. You right. Know? And it's like, okay, well, I need to go get some baggy clothes. I need to go get a shirt. <laughs> I had to go out and buy black sheets, you know, because I don't want to mess up, like, light sheet, you know. So it's been, mm-hmm. you know. It's I'm, really tough on I'm you. I'm lucky. I've got somebody pretty supportive. So. Well, you know what? I'm glad you said that because the person that you have that's most supportive is actually just not walking in the studio, putting on the headphones. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the body shop, Miss Katie. Hey. What's up, Katie? How you doing? I'm great. Okay, now listen. Before you walked in here, right? Dan was telling us, you know, hey, I'm a big shot at home. I do what I want to do. <laughs> you know, if I feel like eating this, I'm eating that. No, nah, I'm just kidding. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to try to break up a happy home. But what is it like dating um, a bodybuilder or a guy that's getting ready to compete in an event? And he's eating certain things and you're eating different things. Like, what is that like? It's interesting. Mm-hmm. And I've actually learned a lot. Okay. And believe it or not, I've picked up a lot of the stuff that he's been eating. Such as? Um, well, not right now. I'm not a big tilapia and asparagus <laughs> girl. I, I like my rice. I like my pasta. But, uh-huh. um, so far as his old diet, like mm-hmm. a few weeks ago, Ezekiel and um, rice cakes with almond butter are two of my new favorite things. <laughs> oh. I know. But it's nice that I can still go down the street and, you know, get a cupcake if I want. But I feel What kind bad. of cupcake are you talking about? Okay, what kind all of right, cupcake? let's do this. Because he's getting la, ready to compete la, la, la. in right. seven days. So what kind of well, cupcake are we talking favorite, about? My new favorite one yeah. is a salted caramel. Ooh. It's from City Cakes in New York City. Headphones street. are awesome. coming off. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Headphones are coming off, Dan? Uh, Fantastic. <laughs> 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 no, look, we we luck out because with the exception of that last like two to three week stretch, right? You know, we actually eat pretty much the same. You know, for the for the rest, we'll say almost the rest of the time, right? As mm-hmm. far as you know, like lean protein, some veggies, and we're both quinoa lovers. We lucked out with that one, or brown, like brown rice. You know, I mean, so for the most part, it's been pretty easy. But then, yeah, the last couple of weeks, it's kind of like we're doing going a little different direction. Going a little different direction. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, Katie, is he starting to smell food that's really not there? <laughs> come on, come on. I know I've been through it. I was dieting and I'm walking in the house and I'm who in the hell got a cheeseburger? Is he doing one of those things? Come on, come on, be honest with me. I got hundred and twenty thousand listeners right now at the sound of your voice. Be honest with me. Gina, turn the computer off for two seconds. Is he doing it? I mean he's <laughs> He certainly looks at whatever I'm eating and says that he'd house that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much verbatim. Oh, really? Yeah, That's pretty much absolutely. it right there. <laughs> I told you, it's even, it's even gotten bad enough where she's eating a salad and she's got, you know, like maybe a little bit of feta or like some tomatoes in there. I'm like, oh, my God. That You'd tom- think it was a chocolate sundae. Yeah. Wow. It's a f- salad, you know. Okay, oh. hold on, hold on, hold on. So she's having a salad. Okay, mm-hmm. she got a little feta cheese on that or yep. something. Tomatoes. You're not eating tomatoes? No, I eat the same thing. I cut out all the extra carbs. You know, go for it. Mm. And, you know, it becomes one of those things, too. Like, let's face it. Is a tomato really going to wreck, you know, what I'm trying? No, but it, it's the principle of it. And, you know, okay. when you're already dedicating this much and right. going as hard as possible, you know, why not just go all the way? Why not do it to the best of your ability when you're already so close? You know, it's, I think it's it's either an all or nothing kind of kind of thing when you're when you're trying to compete and do it, do it to the best of your ability. All right. So that sounds kind of fair. Okay, so... For the person who's contemplating competing, yep. for the person who's just, you know, the average rugged weekend warrior, who's check, like, you check know with what? your girl first, <laughs> keep going, <laughs> make sure she's on board, yeah, yeah, make yeah, make sure she doesn't come home and wonder why uh, all of a sudden the sheets are black ones, and, you know. <laughs> babe, I'll explain, I'll explain, babe, I'll explain, yeah, 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 wait, wait, what happened to my sheets, you got black sheets, go get the black light because something's going down and we're not having that, and you're like, baby, I'm just trying to compete, compete with what, uh. nah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the body shop has to take a break. We'll be right back. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to the body shop with me, your host, Andre Brick St. Clair. My in studio guest, 
And today, he's going to be my in-studio co-host. There we go. Mr. Dan Lorenzo. I like that promotion. Yeah, hey, why not, man? You promotion. know. You know, I'm going to promote you. I'm going to promote Cellular Core. There we go. You know, Gina got to send me a check. Um, we also have we also have Dan's better half, Katie. You know. Now, Dan, as we were talking about your diet and um, tilapia and asparagus, yuck. I like what Katie mentioned, which was cupcakes. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. I'm, no. I, I don't know. I think that I might have gotten her started on the cupcakes. You did. You got me my first cupcake from bakery. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> how sweet. What kind of cupcake was it? Let me see where your memory's at. Gina, don't listen. If I'm honest with you. Yeah. I think we got a six pack the first time. <laughs> <laughs> a six packs of cupcakes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We were we were we were in the city, <laughs> and uh, I was actually I tried out for the Food Network. I got pretty far, man. I can Did cook. You? I can cook, and she can vouch for me. I can I can. Can he cook? He can throw down. I can oh, he can throw down. Throw down. He yeah. Can throw down. I was trying to I was trying out for the Food Network, and I was about to go pitch like my show idea, which is trust me, it's healthy. Because honestly, you know, I'll cook you know entrees and different you know whatever it is. And I'll make it sexy. I'll make it delicious, right? Mm-hmm. So you're not going to believe me, but trust me. Hey, it's healthy, why not? You know? Why not? So, so I'm waiting to go talk to the Food Network people about this. And, uh, you know, Crumbs is a, a famous cupcake bakery in the city. There's a few in Connecticut now, like Westport, somewhere around here. But, yeah. But we, we went in there and just uh, maybe it's the sheer irony of it. Just like, yo, I'm about to go talk about making healthy food. Let's, you know, finally let's get some cupcakes. So <laughs> we got we got a few of them. You go, babe. Uh, you got a three. six pack. Yeah. It's like. Pick three. You, you, you pick three. Pack. I'll pick three. We'll go. Yeah. So I don't know. What was your? I don't know what the, my favorite. My favorite one. I know they didn't have any more there, which was bummer. It's Fluffernutter, peanut butter, and marshmallow cupcake. Come on. Peanut butter mm-hmm. and marshmallow cupcake. Fluffernutter. <laughs> Fluffernutter. You know what? Talk dirty to me. So, yeah, see, <laughs> that might be what it sounds like to you oh, right now. I mean, you know, oh, come yeah. on, man. You know, you yeah. you you cutting out this. You cutting out that. Yeah. You know your. You're less than seven days away from your competition. Exactly. I mean, six days. Cause six seven, days. Because seventh day, we've got dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Where you guys going for dinner? Uh, we're uh, we're going to go somewhere in the city. I, I don't know. We were talking about maybe going to Italy. Italy? You know, okay, but, okay. But, well, it's e- Italy's big. You know, Mario Batali's big. We walked through there yesterday. Right. Okay, and there's meat and pasta and cheese hanging everywhere. And I was like, wow, I see a Facebook status update, like, right now. <laughs> like, you know, me, Italy is not the place to be when you're carb deprived. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fresh pot. There's bread, bacon. I'm like, oh, I need to get the heck out of here. So, you know what? Me and Super Producer Amal, I think that's where we're going, right? Me, you, Arusha, you know what? Load up. Load up the Audi, and that's where we going. <laughs> Pasta Haven, all right? Yeah, we'll take it. You know, we uh, we'll we'll take a, take a, take a day. You know, right after the comp, and then right. we got Easter, and then it's going to be time. You know, probably to refocus and stuff okay. for, for the you know, for nationals and some of the bigger stuff later. You mm. know, later in the year. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now, like I said, my friend Lorianne, she goes without fruit. I guess that's that's her. You know, her thing to give up. And a lot of fitness girls mm. are, you know. Starting to like fruit deprive, so to speak. Yep. Okay. How long have you been carb depleting now, and how long do you think that Gina is going to keep you on that? Well, I've been really carb depleting probably for the past ten days. Whew. So it's going to be about two weeks of two weeks prior to the show or so of, of carb depletion. Right. But I mean, even before that, I was on. I've always been for the last three months, maybe since I started kind of the the show dieting mm-hmm. on a carb rotation type schedule where I'd have higher carb days or lower carb days. Um, so I've been, you know, watching that, manipulating that now for, for a few months, right. but you know, very low carb. I mean, honestly for the past two weeks, really, if you want to even call them carbs, uh, I was having, you know, um, four to five, you know, rice cakes after training, you know, twice, two or three times a week with some almond butter. So, I mean, even, even there you're talking what 40 grams of carbs a day, If that, you know, yeah. um, and this is going to go all the way up till till about Thursday, you okay. know, show Saturday, right. and then you know Thursday to Saturday it's going to be you know kind of carbo loading just to kind of fill up again, okay. um, you know, and I keep telling Kate, you know, this, she thinks I'm crazy when you start kind of say this stuff, but uh, it's going to be like Mario hitting the mushroom, you know, kind of blow up a little bit. It'll be good, fill, mm. fill back up. You know, that's funny because I'm picking up a little sound in the background, sound like, and you guys are wondering, that's FT and that's mascot. Arusha, and Arusha doesn't like tilapia. She doesn't like none she of that was, stuff. That she, she was mentioned. giving my she was giving my cooler the evil eye. Yeah, there. she was. So I smell something fishy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, 
Okay, now. Normally dogs love me. <laughs> Here's a question that I'm sure is on a lot of guys' minds, okay? Um, and that is for you, okay? When you hooked up with Gina, mm-hmm. and I understood from the previous uh, interview that you guys kind of like work together. Yep. Okay. But what was it like as a man, okay, testosterone driven, you know, alpha male syndrome, but what was it like asking a female to do your diet and to, you know, basically get you ready for a competition? Because I know a lot of guys are like, no, nah, there's no way yeah, in hell I'm sure, doing that. Sure. Look, for me, that was easy. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Gina and I were coworkers uh, at Cellucor, um, you know, last year. Uh, is when we met for the first time, and I mean, I mean, look, she's an IFBB pro, right. figure competitor. Uh, she knows her stuff. She's been through this several times. So honestly, from day one, it was real easy for me to just be like, Gina, I don't know what I'm doing. I want this new challenge. I mm-hmm. want to push myself and see where this goes. I'm gonna have some fun with it, as sick as that may sound, <laughs> uh, given everything we're talking about. Right. Uh, but honestly, I told her, like, look, I'll do, I'll do whatever you know you want. You tell me to do. Right. And it, for example, she was asking me, hey, you know, Dan, which foods do you like? What don't you like? And honestly, Gina, I'm not going to tell you. Because you know what? I want you to tell me what the best case scenario would be. And that's what I'm going to do. Wow. So I, I didn't even tell. I didn't give her any kind of preferences or anything. I just said, right. look, you tell me what I should be doing with the best case. You know, what, what if I want to drive this, ma- you know, full force, what mm-hmm. do I what do? I do? Right. And that was my attitude from day one. You know, man or woman, I don't know. I mean, result, results speak for themselves. She's an IFBB pro. She knows her stuff. I mean, totally honestly, agree with she's, you. she's dieting right now for, for the season. And she looks sick. Right. You right. know, and as we've trained a few times together, and, I mean, she's kicked my butt. Really? Not every day you go there and see a girl squat 225. No, yeah, no, no, crazy. no, no. You're really not seeing that. But, again, and, you know, obviously, like I said, you dropped close to 20 pounds. You yeah. know, you're looking shredded right now. So, you know, want to wish you good luck. Thank you. It's coming Saturday. Now, you're not going to be competing in the fitness Atlantic. So, what show are you actually doing? Uh, the Suburban out in New Jersey. Okay. Which is an MP. It's actually an MPC show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So different, different league. But honestly, I don't think there's any comparison. I think it's just a, it's a little bit different sport. Okay. You know, um, you know, it was one of my good friends, uh, you know, Miguel Mike Miranda, who yep. actually won yep. uh, male fitness model for Fitness Atlantic last year. What's up, Mike? How you doing, brother? And he, uh, you know, he, he was kind of telling me a little bit of the ins and outs and stuff. And you know, there's you know, Fitness Atlantic and for WBFF. There's three different portions to the male fitness model, yes, which is, is the you know formal, the theme wear, which is kind of like an athletic theme mm-hmm. kind of thing, uh, and then swim wear. Right. Uh, and, and that's great for for me. That's just a little you know that's kind of a lot you know to do, especially right away. Right. And and MPC has this brand new category called physique, which is real simple. And you know I, I keep making fun of myself saying it's male male <laughs> bikini. Okay. Male male bikini show here. So right. it's going to essentially just be board shorts. You know, walk to the center of the stage, do your model presentation, get in the line, do your quarter turns. You know, and that and that's it. So for for me, that's kind of a little more where I where I was trying to go. You know, with it again, because this is for me, this is a physique challenge. Right. I mean, yes, there's mental side and that whole kind of experience too. Of course, but physique challenge. And so I was, you know. I'm after my ultimate goal, of course, would be to earn my pro card. That's right. You know, for physique. But I'm not after the the magazine covers or the, right. the, I'm not trying to really get my name out there. You know, I've I've got an amazing job with Cellucor. I'm involved mm-hmm. with the best supplement company around. So for me, that that's kind of what this is. Definitely that. Definitely that. Okay. Let me just let me just sidestep back to the original question. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now again, I I see the results. You know, yep. Gina definitely knows what she's doing. But why not go with a guy? You know, because at at Cellular Core, were there guys that were competing or were there guys that, you know, that probably did bodybuilding or no, you know, model or anything like that? You know, I don't we, we really don't have anyone, you okay. know, for Cellular Core doing that, um as far as, as far as the guys are concerned. Um, you know, right now we've we've got one bodybuilder, uh, Colton, Colton Leonard. Mm-hmm. Um they call him the castle. He's a big boy. Yeah. Big boy. Big, big boy, boy. Huh? yeah. Uh, All right. Big but, castle. But you know, I just uh you know, Gina, Gina's kind of local. Number one, she's out of Jersey. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, I don't know. I just I kind of just called her up and said, "Hey, like, do you know anybody?" Because I honestly didn't expect her to to end up, you know, saying, "Hey, I'll do your diet." You know, I didn't I didn't really expect that. Um, so I just was asking her advice, or you know, if she could just kind of point me in the right direction. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "No, absolutely. I'm you know I'm coaching now. You know, I've got this you know um, this program called Forever Fit. She's got a, kind of a little bit of a team. She had a couple girls compete yesterday nice. at the New York City Metropolitan." Um, couple, you know, a couple of girls are going. Uh, mostly figure competitors. Mm-hmm. Um, this next weekend, the same show I'm going as well. So, no, um, you know, 
trust her, trust her fully, and that's kind right. of how that conversation started. Definitely. Okay. Now let me let me just go over here to Katie. Now, Katie, when when Dan comes to see you, okay, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say come home because I don't want to assume anything, and nor do I want you to answer. You know, somebody's mom might be listening and might not understand what's going on here. See, I'm not trying to start no trouble at the body shop. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> so when Dan comes to see you, mm-hmm. or you go see Dan, either way, and he says to you, hey, listen, um, I want to, you know, start competing. I want to take my body to a different level. And I've enlisted the help of a trainer, and her name is Gina Troyancho. Tra- 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 Trachiano. Trachiano. Gina, listen, me and you go way back, all right? I apologize. <laughs> so, Gina Trachiano, what's your reaction? Do you mean if it would bother me? Yeah. I don't, I don't, it wouldn't bother, it doesn't bother me at all. Because, okay. like, it's it's a trust thing. And at the end of the day, he wants to challenge himself, and I want him to do it. Hmm. And as he's spoken about her a lot, like, she's awesome, and mm-hmm. she's perfect for what he's doing. So if you're asking if it bothers me, it doesn't at all. And so, I think that you shouldn't let it. Because if she's sick and he's going to, she's going to get him to be at the point he wants to be at that's right awesome. okay i just want to start a little controversy here so all right just bear with me on this one so you trying to tell me big d comes home right you know parks the g5 you know and on the on the front lawn hops out mm-hmm. six pack of cupcakes and baby listen this is what's going on gina t says she's gonna train me and then he shows you a picture of gina and you're sitting back there like oh it's okay i trust you <laughs> No, nah, they're going to giggle. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That pretty much, I mean, that, honestly, that that, that, that that pretty much happened at some point. Pretty much what you just saw. Play by play, except for the G5. Except for the G5? Yeah. Okay. So what was it then? No, I don't, you know, like I said, it takes a special kind of person. Right. You know, any any of this. Right. I mean, and honestly, I think, you know, tr- tr- fine, trust comes into play in any relationship. Definitely. Let's, let's be honest. Um, you know, backstage at a show, you've got... You know, everything from, you know, all the, uh, you know, the cute little bikini girls running around to 300 pound, you know, huge, you know, body, but it's, it's madness. You know, this whole, this whole industry is is in in a way, you know, a a little bit crazy, but it's great. It's it's so much fun. It's so, it's so much fun and it's so, it's so addicting, but no, it takes a really cool kind of person to, to, uh, you know, supportive. And honestly, Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, I've said to Kate a thousand times, like, you know, thank you, you know, a lot. And, you know, I. I think it's amazing that, you know, you support me so much. I love, you know, I love, I love that. So definitely. So, um, you know, again, as I, as I stated that, you know, I'm just trying to start a yeah, little no, controversy, sure. well, you know, well, you know, well, like you I know, said, you know, for all the a little guy, playful with it, nah, man, you know, all, I mean? no, look, no, but this, no, Hey, look, man, I see for all the guys and you know, the girls, out, I mean, ser- no, seriously, it takes, it takes a special kind of person to really just, you know, get up there and, uh, and support you kind of no, no matter what through that kind of stuff. So, yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, the purpose of the question is whenever I have somebody on okay. the show or um, on the phone, I always ask him, you know, like, what is that support system like? Right. You know, because it's going to be challenging, whether it's, okay, you're eating Ezekiel bread and, and you know, almond peanut butter or whatever it is because I'm not touching that stuff. Sure. And yeah, well, almond butter is good. <laughs> almond butter is good. pretty good. Yeah, even my roommate sits at home now and eats almond butter. Your yeah, roommate case, sits at it. home and eats cookies, and you go in the other room. Well, yeah, but then, I'm serious. But sometimes he'll, <laughs> he'll start stealing. He'll start stealing the rice cakes with the almond butter. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, he puts he slathers his in honey though. It makes me jealous. But I mean, look, no, this is look, this is a this is a it is a controversial question. I mean, I I got to be honest with you, and I know I've I've you know told Kate about this too. But when I first made the decision, like I wanted to get healthy, right. I want to get in shape. It was after flight school, put on some extra weight. I told you a whole story. Yeah. Yes, you know, yes, yes. But honestly, the girl I was dating at the time was n- nothing. She mm. wasn't having it. And that, was, wasn't having that, wasn't, that. that wasn't even competition okay. shape. That was civilian shape. Right. So, you know, that and that caused some some issues, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so, like I said, I'm so appreciative right. you know, of, you know, of Kate's support and everything through, through all this stuff. And, you know, trust me, I see the evil eye she gives me if I'm going for an extra tablespoon of peanut butter or something. I see it. <laughs> So she's she's good. She she's even got Gina's back. If I'm anything. Oh so, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now hold on, because off the air, you know, I was talking to you about tilapia and, and mm-hmm. all that stuff, and you told me that, you know, you you and Kate, you got to sit down for dinner, or a meal, you know, one of the seven that you eat, <laughs> and <laughs> and you're having one thing. Yep. And she's having brown rice. Yeah. And chicken and you're looking at it because you're in your carb depletion stage and you're yep. like 
you know what? Give me that. I know. Just give me that bowl. <laughs> give me the bowl. <laughs> no, it's funny because people hear that and think it's crazy because she's sitting there eating, eating brown rice pasta. And, which and is chicken, healthy. And chicken, which is he- right. most people's healthiest meal of the day. And I'm sitting there like coveting, like, oh, my gosh. I want that, you know, so. Okay. But it's fun. No, it's it's fun. <laughs> I think I think that I think that Kate's sanity is that she knows that you know out of competition mode that you know like I said I can cook and like we'll go out to the you know I'm I'm a huge food lover at heart. Right. Most people wouldn't expect that. I'm a huge foodie, man. I love I love the fine. I love the you know the big restaurants in the city. Like, yeah. We know we sit we still sit at, sit and watch Food Network all day. I'll be honest. You still sitting at oh home? Oh my gosh! I DVR the best thing I ever ate. <laughs> Food porn. That's pretty much what I'm, it I'll is. I'll be sitting there like, baby, they're even playing porn music in the show. And they're showing like cookies. I can't. I'm sitting freaking out. Oh, I'm sure Rachel start, Ray start, is blushing right start now. Start nervously chomping on my rice cakes. Oh my god. Okay, are you at least doing flavored rice cakes? Heck no. What? Uh, unsalted. <laughs> oh. What do you guys team up with this question? Are you kidding well, no, me? It's, she does because there's there's been a couple times where she had to go out. And she went out and got rice cakes. So she uh-huh. came back. I'm like trying to be really nice. Like, oh, I need the unsalted one. Uh huh. You know, ah, oh, these have you know, yeah, unsalted. And then I'm getting you know the un- unsalted uh, raw raw almond butter going on. Okay, for our listeners, where can they actually find almond butter? Honestly, it's pretty common nowadays. I really? mean, I think even even Stop and Shop, like everywhere, has it. I, I, I'll, and I'll plug Trader Joe's real quick because I love them. But okay. I mean, they've got the best price I've seen for like raw almond butter. Uh huh. You know, it's it's pretty good. Four ninety nine a pound. So Four ninety nine a pound. There you go. Wait a minute, but 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 I can't believe it's not butter. It's only two dollars and eighty nine cents. <laughs> Why am I paying four ninety nine oh. for some almond butter? You got huh? huh? I'm think, not paying. You do. For some butter? The things you do for say, hey. Oh, man. I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back after these words. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to The Body Shop with me, your host, Andre Brick St. Clair, my in-studio guest, and today, he's going to be my in-studio co-host. There we go. Mr. Dan Lorenzo. I like that promotion. Hey, why not, man? You know, you know, I'm going to promote you. I'm going to promote Cellular Core. There we go. You know, Gina got to send me a check. Um, we, also have, we also have Dan's better half, Katie. You know, now, Dan, as we were talking about your diet and um, tilapia and asparagus, yuck. <laughs> I like what Katie mentioned <laughs> Which was cupcakes. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I'm no. I I don't know. I think that I might have gotten her started on the cupcakes. You did. You got me my first cupcake from bakery. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> how sweet. <laughs> what kind of cupcake was it? Let me see where your memory's at. Gina, don't listen. If I'm honest with you. Yeah. I think we got a six pack the first time. <laughs> <laughs> a six packs of cupcakes. Here's the thing. Here's what? the thing. We were we were we were in the city, <laughs> and uh, I was actually I tried out for the Food Network. I got pretty far, man. I can Did cook. You? I can cook, and she can vouch for me. I can I can. Can he cook? He can throw down. I can, oh, he can throw down. Throw down. He yeah. Can throw down. I was trying to I was trying out for the Food Network, and I was about to go pitch like my show idea, which is trust me, it's healthy. Because honestly, you know, I'll cook you know entrees and different you know whatever it is. And I'll make it sexy. I'll make it delicious, right? Mm-hmm. So you're not going to believe me, but trust me. Hey, it's healthy, why not? You know? Why not? So, so I'm waiting to go talk to the Food Network people about this. And, uh, you know, Crumbs is a, a famous cupcake bakery in the city. There's a few in Connecticut now, like Westport, somewhere around here. But, yeah. But we, we went in there and just uh, maybe it's the sheer irony of it. Just like, yo, I'm about to go talk about making healthy food. Let's, you know, finally let's get some cupcakes. So <laughs> we got we got a few of them. You go, babe. Uh, you got a three. six pack. Yeah. It's like. Pick three. You, you, you pick three. Pack. I'll pick three. We'll go. Yeah. So I don't know. What was your? I don't know what the, my favorite. My favorite one. I know they didn't have any more there, which was bummer. It's fluffernutter, peanut butter, and marshmallow cupcake. Come on. Peanut butter mm-hmm. and marshmallow cupcake. Fluffernutter. <laughs> fluffernutter. You know what? Talk dirty to me. So, yeah, see, <laughs> that might be what it sounds like to you oh, right now. I mean, you know, oh, come yeah. on, man. You know, you yeah. you you cutting out this. You cutting out that. Yeah. You know your. You're less than seven days away from your competition. Exactly. I mean, six days. Cause six seven, days. Because seventh day, we've got dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Where you guys going for dinner? Uh, we're uh, we're going to go somewhere in the city. I, I don't know. We were talking about maybe going to Italy. Italy? You know, okay, but, okay. But, well, it's e- Italy's big. You know, Mario Batali's big. We walked through there yesterday. Right. Okay, and there's meat and pasta and cheese hanging everywhere. And I was like, wow, I see a Facebook status update, like, right now. Like, <laughs> you know, maybe, 
Italy is not the place to be when you're carb deprived. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fresh pot. There's bread, bacon. I'm like, oh, I need to get the heck out of here. So you know what? Me and Super Producer Amal, I think that's where we're going, right? Me, you, Arusha, you know what? Load up. Load up the Audi, and that's where we going. <laughs> Pasta Haven, all right? Yeah, we'll take it. You know, we uh, we'll t- we'll take a co- take a, take a day, you know, right after the comp, and then right. we got Easter, and then it's going to be time, you know, probably to refocus and stuff okay. for, for the na- you know for nationals and some of the bigger stuff later, you mm. know, later in the year. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so now, like I said, my friend Lorianne, she goes without fruit. I guess that's that's her, you know, her thing to give up. And a lot of fitness girls mm. are, you know. Starting to like fruit deprive, so to speak. Yep. Okay. How long have you been carb depleting now, and how long do you think that Gina is going to keep you on that? Well, I've been really carb depleting probably for the past ten days. Whew. So it's going to be about two weeks of two weeks prior to the show or so of, of carb depletion. Right. But I mean, even before that, I was on. I've always been for the last three months, maybe since I started kind of the the show dieting mm-hmm. on a carb rotation type schedule where I'd have higher carb days or lower carb days. Um, so I've been, you know, watching that, manipulating that now for, for a few months, right. but you know, very low carb. I mean, honestly for the past two weeks, really, if you want to even call them carbs, uh, I was having, you know, um, four to five, you know, rice cakes after training, you know, twice, two or three times a week with some almond butter. So, I mean, even, even there you're talking what 40 grams of carbs a day, If that, you know, yeah. um, and this is going to go all the way up till till about Thursday, you okay. know, show Saturday. Right. And then, you know, Thursday to Saturday, it's going to be, you know, kind of carbo-loading just to kind of fill up again. Okay. Um, you know, and I keep telling Kate, you know, this, she thinks I'm crazy when you say, kind of say this stuff. But uh, it's going to be like Mario hitting the mushroom, you know, kind of blow up a little bit. It'll be good. Fill, mm. fill back up. You know, that's funny because I'm picking up a little sound in the background, sound like, and you guys are wondering, that's FTNS mascot. Arusha, and Arusha doesn't like tilapia. She doesn't like none she of that was, stuff. That she, she was mentioned. giving my she was giving my cooler the evil eye. Yeah, there. she was. So I smell something fishy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now normally dogs love me. <laughs> Here's a question that I'm sure is on a lot of guys' minds. Okay, um, and that is for you. Okay, when you hooked up with Gina, mm-hmm. and I understood from the previous uh, interview that you guys kind of like work together. Yep. Okay. But what was it like as a man, okay, testosterone driven, you know, alpha male syndrome, but what was it like asking a female to do your diet and to, you know, basically get you ready for a competition? Because I know a lot of guys are like, no, nah, there's no way yeah, in hell I'm sure. doing that. Sure. Look, for me, that was easy. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Gina and I were coworkers uh, at Cellucor. Um, you know, last year uh, is when, when we met for the first time. And, I mean, I mean, look, she's an IFBB pro, right. figure competitor. Uh, she knows her stuff. She's been through this several times. So, honestly, from day one, it was real easy for me to just be like, Gina, I don't know what I'm doing. I want this new challenge. I mm-hmm. want to push myself and see where this goes. I'm going to have some fun with it, as sick as that may sound, <laughs> uh, given everything we're talking about. Right. Uh, but, honestly, I told her, like, look, I'll do, I'll do whatever, you know, you want – you tell me to do right and it, for example she was asking me hey you know dan which foods do you like what don't you like and honestly gene i'm not gonna tell you because you know what i want you to tell me what the best case scenario would be and that's what i'm gonna do wow so i, I didn't even tell i didn't give her any kind of preferences or anything i just said right. look you tell me what i should be doing with the best case you know what what if i want to drive this ma- you know full force mm-hmm. what do i what do i do right. and that was my attitude from day one you know man or woman i don't know i mean result, results speak for himself she's an ifbb pro she knows her stuff i mean totally honestly, she's you. she's dieting right now for for the season and she looks sick right you right. know and as we've trained a few times together and i mean she's kicked my butt really not every day you go there and see girls squat 225 no yeah, no no crazy. no no you're really not seeing that but again and you know obviously like i said you drop close to 20 pounds you yep. know you're looking shredded right now so you know want to wish you good luck thank you it's coming saturday now you're not going to be competing in the fitness Atlantic. So, what show are you actually doing? Uh, the Suburban out in New Jersey. Okay. Which is an MP. It's actually an NPC show. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So different, different league. But honestly, I don't think there's any comparison. I think it's just a. It's a little bit different sport. Okay. You know, um, you know, it was one of my good friends. 
uh, you know, Miguel, Mike Miranda, who yep. actually won yep. uh, male fitness model for Fitness Atlantic last year. What's up, Mike? How you doing, brother? And he, uh, you know, he, he was kind of telling me a little bit of the ins and outs and stuff. And, you know, there's, you know, Fitness Atlantic and for WBFF, there's three different portions to the male fitness model, yes, which is, is the, you know, formal, the theme wear, which is kind of like an athletic theme mm-hmm. kind of thing, uh, and then swimwear. Right. Uh, and, and that's great. For for me, that's just a little, you know, that's kind of a lot, you know, to do, especially right away. Right. And and MPC has this brand new category called physique, which is real simple. And, you know, I, I keep making fun of myself saying it's male, male <laughs> bikini. Okay, male, male bikini show here. So right. it's going to essentially just be board shorts. You know, walk to the center of the stage, do your model presentation, get in the line, do your quarter turns. You know, and then and that's it. So for for me, that's kind of a little more where I where I was trying to go. You know, with it again, because this is for me, this is a physique challenge. Right. I mean, yes, there's mental side and that whole kind of experience too. Of course, but physique challenge. And so I was, you know. I'm after my ultimate goal, of course, would be to earn my pro card. That's right. You know, for physique, but I'm not after the the magazine covers or the, right. the, I'm not trying to really get my name out there. You know, I've I've got an amazing job with Cellucor. I'm involved mm-hmm. with the best supplement company around. So for me, that that's kind of what this is. Definitely that. Definitely that. Okay, let me just let me just sidestep back to the original question. Okay, mm-hmm. now again, I I see the results. You know, yep. Gina definitely knows what she's doing, but why not go with a guy? You know, because at at Cellular Core, were there guys that were competing or were there guys that, you know, that probably did bodybuilding or no, you know, model or anything like that? You know, I don't we, we really don't have anyone, you okay. know, for Cellular Core doing that, um as far as, as far as the guys are concerned. Um, you know, right now we've we've got one bodybuilder, uh, Colton, Colton Leonard. Mm-hmm. Um they call him the castle. He's a big boy. Yeah. Big boy. Big, big boy, boy. Huh? yeah. Uh, All right. Big but, castle. But you know, I just uh you know, Gina, Gina's kind of local. Number one, she's out of Jersey. Okay. Okay. And uh, you know, I don't know. I just I kind of just called her up and said, "Hey, like, do you know anybody?" Because I honestly didn't expect her to to end up, you know, saying, "Hey, I'll do your diet." You know, I didn't I didn't really expect that. Um, so I just was asking her advice, or you know, if she could just kind of point me in the right direction. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "No, absolutely. I'm you know I'm coaching now. You know, I've got this you know um, this program called Forever Fit. She's got a, kind of a little bit of a team. She had a couple girls compete yesterday nice. at the New York City Metropolitan." A um, couple, you know, a couple of girls are going on, uh, mostly figure competitors. Mm-hmm. Um, this next weekend, the same show I'm going as well. So, no, um, you know, trust her, trust her fully, and that's kind of right. how that conversation started. Definitely. Okay. Now let me let me just go over here to Katie. Now, Katie, when when Dan comes to see you, okay, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say come home because I don't want to assume anything, and nor do I want you to answer. You know, somebody's mom might be listening and might not understand what's going on here. See, I'm not trying to start no trouble at the body shop. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> so when Dan comes to see you, mm-hmm. or you go see Dan, either way, and he says to you, "Hey, listen, um, I want to, you know, start competing. I want to take my body to a different level, and I've enlisted the help of a trainer, and her name is Gina Troyancho, Tro- 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 Tra- Tra- Trachiano. Trachiano. Mm-hmm. Gina. Listen, me and you go way back. Right? I apologize. <laughs> so, Gina Trachiano, what's your reaction? Do you mean if it would bother me? Yeah. I don't, I don't, it wouldn't bother, it doesn't bother me at all. Because, okay. like, it's it's a trust thing. And at the end of the day, he wants to challenge himself, and I want him to do it. Hmm. And as he's spoken about her a lot, like, she's awesome, and mm-hmm. she's perfect for what he's doing. So if you're asking if it bothers me, it doesn't at all. And so I think that you shouldn't let it. Because if she's sick and he's going to, she's going to get him to be at the point he wants to be at that's right. awesome okay i just want to start a little controversy here so all right just bear with me on this one so you trying to tell me big d comes home right you know parks the g5 you know and on the on the front lawn hops out mm-hmm. six pack of cupcakes and baby listen this is what's going on gina t says she's gonna train me and then he shows you a picture of gina and you're sitting back there like oh it's okay i trust you <laughs> No, nah, they're gonna giggle. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That pretty much. I mean, that, I, honestly, that that, that 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 pretty much happened at some point. Pretty much what you just saw. play by play, except for the G5. Except for the G5. Yeah. Okay. So what was it then? No, I don't. You know, like I said, it takes a special kind of person. Right. You know, any any of this. Right. I mean, and honestly, I think you know, tr- trust. Fine, trust comes into play in any relationship. Definitely. Let's, let's be honest. Um, you know, backstage at a show, you've got. You know, everything from, you know, all the, uh, you know, the cute little bikini girls running around to 300 pound, you know, huge, you know, body, but it's, it's madness. You know, this whole, this whole industry is is in in a way, 
you know, a, a little bit crazy. It's, yeah. But it's great. It's Definitely it's so does. much fun. It's so, it's so much fun, and it's so it's so addicting. But no, it takes a really cool kind of person to to uh, you know supportive. And honestly, mm-hmm. I think that you know I've said to Kate a thousand times, like you know, thank you, you know, a lot. And you know, I I think it's amazing that you know you support me so much. I love you know I, lo- I love that. So definitely so um you know again as i as i stated that you know i'm just trying to start a yeah, little no, controversy sure. well, you know well, you know well like you i know, said you know for all the a little guy, playful with it no nah, man you for know all, what I mean? no look no but this no hey look man that's serious. for all the guys and you know the girls out i mean ser- no seriously it takes it takes a special kind of person to really just you know get up there and uh and support you kind of no, no matter what through that kind of stuff so yeah absolutely and and you know the purpose of the question is whenever i have somebody on okay. the show or um, on the phone, I always ask him, you know, like, what is that support system like? Right. You know, because it's going to be challenging, whether it's, okay, you're eating Ezekiel bread and, and you know, almond peanut butter or whatever it is, because I'm not touching that stuff. Sure. And yeah, well, almond butter is good. Almond <laughs> good. pretty good. Even my roommate sits at home now and eats almond butter. Your yeah, roommate cakes, sits at it. home and eats cookies and you go in the other room. Well, yeah, but that, I'm serious. But sometimes he'll, <laughs> he'll, start steal, he'll start stealing the rice cakes with the almond butter. Oh, really? Almond, oh, he puts, he slathers his in honey, though. It makes me jealous. But, I mean, look, no, this is, look, this is a, this is a, it is a controversial question. I mean, I, I got to be honest with you. And I know I've, I've, you know, told Kate about this too. But when I first made the decision, like I wanted to get healthy, right. I want to get in shape. It was after flight school, put on some extra weight. I told you that whole story. Yeah. Yes, know, yes, yes. But honestly, the girl I was dating at the time was n- nothing. She mm. wasn't having it. And that, she was, wasn't having that, wasn't, that. that wasn't even competition okay. shape. That was civilian shape. Right. So, you know, that and, and that caused some some issues, mm-hmm. you know. Um. So, like I said, I'm so appreciative, right. you know, of, you know, of Kate's support and everything Definitely. Through, through all this stuff. And, you know, trust me, I see the evil eye she gives me if I'm going for an extra tablespoon of peanut butter or something. I see it. <laughs> So she's she's good. She she's even got Gina's back. If I'm anything. Oh so, really? Yeah. Okay. Now hold on, because off the air, you know, I was talking to you about tilapia and, and mm-hmm. all that stuff, and you told me that, you know, you you and Kate, you got to sit down for dinner, or a meal, you know, one of the seven that you eat, <laughs> and <laughs> and you're having one thing. Yep. And she's having brown rice. Yeah, and chicken, and you're looking at it because you're in your carb depletion stage, and you're yeah. like, you know what? Give me that. I know. Just give me that bowl. <laughs> give me the bowl. No, it's funny because people hear that and think it's crazy because she's sitting there eating, eating brown rice pasta, and, which like, is healthy, chicken, and chicken, which is healthy. Right. Most people's healthiest meal of the day, and I'm sitting there like coveting, like, oh my gosh, I want that, you know. So, okay. but it's fun. No, it's it's fun. <laughs> I think I think that I think that Kate's sanity is that she knows that you know out of competition mode that you know like I said I can cook and like we'll go out to the you know I'm I'm a huge food lover at heart right most people wouldn't expect that. I'm a huge foodie man I love I love the fine I love the you know the big restaurants in the city like, yeah we know we sit we still sit at, sit and watch Food Network all day I'll be honest. You still sitting at oh home? Oh my gosh! I DVR the best thing I ever ate. <laughs> Food porn. That's pretty much what I'm, it I'll is. I'll be sitting there like, baby, they're even playing porn music in the show. And they're showing like cookies. And stuff. I can't tell. I'm sitting freaking out. Oh, I'm sure Rachel start, Ray's start, blushing right start now. Start nervously chomping on my rice cakes. Oh my god. Okay, are you at least doing flavored rice cakes? Heck no. What? Unsalted. Unsalted. Oh. <laughs> what do you guys team up with this question? Are you kidding well, no, me? It's, she does because there's there's been a couple times where she had to go out and get, she went out and got rice cakes. So she uh-huh. came back. I'm like trying to be really nice. Like, oh, I need the unsalted one. Uh huh. You know, ah, oh, these have you know, yeah, unsalted. And then I'm getting you know the un, unsalted uh, raw raw almond butter going on. Okay, for our listeners, where can they actually find almond butter? Honestly, it's pretty common nowadays. I really? mean, I think even even Stop and Shop, like everywhere, has it. I, I, I'll, and I'll plug Trader Joe's real quick because I love them. But okay. I mean, they've got the best price I've seen for like raw almond butter. Uh huh. You know, it's it's pretty good. Four ninety nine a pound. So Four ninety nine a pound. There you go. Wait a minute, but 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 I can't believe it's not butter. It's only two dollars and eighty nine nah. cents. <laughs> Why am I paying four ninety nine oh, for some almond butter? You got huh? huh? I'm think, not paying. You do. For some butter? The things you do for say, hey. Oh, man. I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back after these words. 